Hi Libra, welcome to your what do I need to do reading. This is general. Um, some of them have resonated or been about love very clearly. Others have, there was, I think there was one about work. Um, so this could be friendship, love, work, that sort of thing. Anything that you've been feeling kind of stuck on that you want some more uh, clarification or just what should I do? This is my situation. What should I do? Hopefully this helps and resonates. Uh, everything else you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. And the bottom of the deck card is your energy or disposition or what has been on your mind. Two of Cups. Full disclosure, I started this and the camera shut off. <laughs> so uh, what was here was the Hierophant. This was judgment and this right here i'd pulled the empress so i'd only gotten three cards in but it was all about um possibly someone coming back for a second chance or making a decision about a relationship all right so we've got the two of cups here so this could be a unified partnership united in love could be an engagement could be wondering about that if that's going to happen when's it going to happen hmm. All right, Libra. So there we have strength. And then right here we have the seven of cups. So there's a lot going on. Um, perhaps this is meeting someone that you feel like is their soulmate because this is like a rush of emotion, maybe even overwhelming emotion. And things being just really secure and content, but waiting to hear or wanting to make your next move and wanting to make sure that you come from a position of strength. It could also be that you're feeling really strongly about this person. Like you feel like this is a good match or a good fit with this situation. So it looks like this is a love reading, just saying, because we got the two of Pentacles or two of cups here and we've got the 10 of cups here, which is a happily ever after. So this could be that you've met somebody that you're really feeling and wanting to know if it's a good idea or like, okay, what's our next move? Well, so far, so good. All right. Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups. Star Aquarius. Okay, everything about this is hopeful and happy except for these two. So we're going to definitely take a look at that. All right. Who are we dealing with here for Libra? What are we dealing with? Queen of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles right here, and we got the Queen of Pentacles right here. Let's do this. Just so you can see all that. Okay. All right. So perhaps you're questioning if this is a strong, like if this is going to be solid and stable and like a strong match, a strong outcome, because you're wanting to make future plans, future movement. Things look really stable, solid, happy, and secure. And it's probably, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed about this decision or about what to do. Sometimes the King of Pentacles is about um, someone who's solitary, excuse me, getting water. But in this case, I think it means about things are happy and stable, but there might be a bit of confusion about what do we do next? Where do we go from here? And there could be that question of things being what's a good, strong, solid next move because we've got strength and we've got the two of wands here. All right. So, you know, I think it's about doing what makes sense. Okay. Two things. This could be that right now is not the best time to be with this person that happens suddenly and you could be thinking, but I love them because they have an ex involved, right? That you need to make executive decisions. You need to make decisions that make sense and cut things off because there's an ex involved. Okay. Because we do have the King of Pentacles right here and the Queen of Pentacles. This could be somebody you've fallen in love with, but they they're dealing with somebody else right now. So while you might think that this is, this is someone you feel very strongly about, it makes sense that you're questioning the unified love or partnership and if this is a good, solid, strong, you know, a good decision or good pairing because we've got the Eight of Cups here um, and the need to make some executive decisions or decisions based on logic devoid of emotions. 
that not cutthroat per se, but just that are not based on how you feel. It's what makes sense to do at the time, quite possibly um, at this time walking away, even though it might be hard because they've got somebody they're dealing with. However, it could also be that, you know what? You can only vet a situation so much and it's time to just engage and leave all the drama behind and just go for it. Just use, um, it, it makes, it's like saying that everything about this could very well make sense. Even if you're not looking at it from an emotional base, if you're looking at it just as far as what makes sense, it's how you fit teeth with each other. Do you think the same? That sort of thing. It could be that, you know what? Leave all the drama behind. No more, no more worry. It might be like, holy cow, what do we do? Well, the rest of it is all very positive. So this could be about just going for literally going for it because it makes sense to do so. And this could be about, you know, we got the King of Pentacles here. This is also that it, it makes sense to do that. It's a good, strong, solid foundation, a good, strong, solid move to move forward with this person and to finally open up your emotions because you're thinking you're, this is in question with the strength. Like, is this a good idea? Yes. Look at, we've got the Ace of Cups here. Open up, open your emotions up, um, be happy. And this is things working out over time. Okay, so even if it is, um, this is about restoration. This is about hope. This is about faith being encouraged. So the thing is, even if this is about walking away for now because someone is dealing with somebody else, things still work out. Look, we've got the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the, the Star card. So this is a situation that is going to happen. It, this is happening. It's just a matter of time, basically. Whichever situation, whether it's you having to walk away for now or you abandoning all caution and being like, I'm going for it. It makes sense. It's solid, stable, and secure. Two, key, two queens uh, are sincere friendship. So this could, which again resonates with a very solid foundation. You got nothing to lose here. If you do have to walk away, it could be temporary, but I think this is more about forward movement. I know that's random because this is the Eight of Cups walking away, but in light of all this, this could be travel. This could be movement, um, moving towards someone, walking away from the drama and moving towards someone. All right, what does Libra need to do? What does Libra need to do? Besides trust, open up, realize that you love this person and just go for it. Go for it. Leave the drama behind and be happy. Things are going to work out. You've got the Nine of Cups here and the Star card. Both of those cards are about wish fulfillment. So this is about things working out. This is situationally, this is long term. But either way, it's about being happy, faith, being encouraged, the grand design finally coming together, especially over time, hope, everything, getting getting what you want, wishes fulfilled. All right, so yay, Libra. <laughs> All right, what does Libra need to do? What do they need to do? Libra need to do. Aha, uh -huh, do nothing. What does Libra do? This is, all right, again, this is echoing the Queen of Swords right here. Not do nothing, sorry. Uh, more than do nothing. This is about keep your emotions out of it. Make sure that this decision is based on what makes sense. Do not let your emotions get the best of you in this situation. Whether it's having to move on for now because this person is dealing with their ex or if it's because, because you could stay stuck here. You could stay stuck in this sort of this seven of cups state where you're just like spinning round and round and round and being distracted and being cautious and being nervous and anxious and oh, da, da. no, leave all that behind. Regardless of if this is walking away from the situation right now or if it's leaving the drama behind and moving forward, either way, this is about making a decision that is not emotionally based. What else does Libra need to know? What do they need to know? What does Libra need to know? Shoot, I was trying for under 10 minutes. Doggone it. What does Libra need to know? Libra need to know. Two of Wands. Look at that. Holy cow. Two of Wands right here too. Yep. Okay. So this is about waiting. This is about being able to make future plans, whether it's now or very soon from now, this is moving forward. Perhaps there are delays, but this is happening. Whatever it is, it's like you're you're right where you're supposed to be and you're not supposed to do anything. You're not supposed to be making decisions um, based on emotions right now. So whatever decisions you make about your forward movement, whether it's to this person or away from the situation for now, uh, this is about keeping your options open. 
making a decision but keeping your options open i think that you're waiting for someone and i think they're dealing with someone else and you need to um it's happening it's just not happening right away look at this the star and the nine of cups this is happening but it's not for you to enact if anything the only action for you to take is to either do nothing make a decision based on fact then that makes sense for your self-preservation to keep you in a secure position not here not seven of cups but queen of pentacles and also if there is anything to be done it's about you pulling back and walking away from the situation until this person can sort out their business all right what else for libra for the next three months next three months for libra libra mm. The devil, you're going to feel held back. You're going to feel there's probably no avoiding it because you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But look at this right here. I mean, this is very hopeful. So you're going to feel stuck. You're going to feel like you're waiting. So perhaps this two of wands right here is about waiting. Um, the two, we've got two twos. Well, we've got three twos actually. So two twos would be accord or agreement. And three twos is about security. And we see that here with the, the king and the queen of pentacles so, and with the strength card so this is about doing things that make sense for your own self-preservation for right now even if you feel like it's ah, oh, dang it there's nothing i can do about this situation it's holding me back well you love the person it's you're gonna have to wait for a while it looks like if you want this person there's gonna be waiting involved all right you're gonna feel held back for a little bit all right libra snapshot libra So we've got the letter and we've got birds. So the letter is roughly about, goodness gracious, sorry, my, put that down. Can't brought something in. Um, the letter, this, this could be online. This could be somebody that you've met online. This could be online shenanigans. Some There might be an online relationship for someone else outside of your uh relationship with this person this could be again somebody you met online that's dealing with someone else and they have to get out of that situation for them to become or be available for you uh the birds that could be about multiple partners this could be about a lot of discussion this could be this right here could be a lot of online communication with someone that you're starting to wonder hey are they a good fit for me and then all of a sudden oh i've sort of got to wrap up a situation about my ex and you're like okay i need to make a very clear-cut decision here that makes sense for me and my security and what makes sense for me and walking away although i think you kind of are starting to really feel for this person and it's about waiting things out even though it might feel like it's holding you back i think it's i think you think this person is worth it of course it's up to you um but i feel like you're going to be kind of waiting for this person to wrap things up this is all about online communication and maybe what started off as just chatter and, and friendship and whatnot or meeting someone has kind of taken a turn for you. And this could be overwhelming emotion, unexpected emotion. And now what? Now what do I do? Now what do I do? <laughs> do nothing. If anything, remove yourself from the situation to preserve your security. But it's happening. Just not in your time frame. This is the next three months feeling like you're being held back like i want this situation to get off the ground so all right libra i hope this was helpful and i hope to see you in the next reading um you take care